Hello my dear students, welcome to Chemistry Minutes. The question now appearing on the screen is exercise question 5.14. The question is, how are colloids classified on the basis of first, physical nature of components, second, nature of dispersed phase and third, interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium. So let's write answer to the question. Answer to exercise question 5.14 Classification of colloids on the basis of now the first part is physical state of components Now, in colloids, there are two type of components or two components. One is dispersed phase and the other one is dispersion medium. So, in the first column, we are writing dispersed phase. In the second column, we are taking this person medium and in the third column we are taking name given to colloidal system. And in the last column, we will be taking example of colloid. Now, the physical state of dispersed phase may be solid, liquid or gas. For a solid dispersed phase, there may be a solid dispersion medium name of such a colloidal system is solid soap example for such colloidal system is colored glasses and gemstones. Now for a liquid dispersed phase there may be a solid dispersion medium. Name of such a colloidal system is gel and example is cheese, jellies. For gases dispersed phase, there is solid dispersion medium. Name of such a colloidal system is solid soul. Example of such colloidal system is cubic stone. foam rubber
Now, if we take dispersion medium to be liquid, then we will be getting different type of colloidal system. So, for a solid dispersed phase, if there is a liquid dispersion medium, then the name given to such a colloidal system is sole. Example is paints, cell fluids. For liquid dispersed phase, there may be liquid dispersion medium. Name given to such a colloidal system is emulsion. Examples are milk, butter. For gaseous dispersed phase, there may be liquid dispersion medium. The name given to such a colloidal system is foam, and example is fruit, soap, leather. Now, if we take dispersion medium to be gaseous, then we will get different type of colloidal system. So, for a solid dispersed phase, if there is a gas as dispersion medium, the name given to this colloid is aerosol. Examples are smoke. Dust. If for a liquid dispersed phase there is a gaseous dispersion medium, then again the name is aerosol. Examples are clouds, fog, mist. And for gaseous dispersion medium, there cannot be a colloidal system with a gaseous dispersion medium and gaseous dispersed phase because they will be forming a solution. So, these are the classification. There are eight types of colloidal systems based on the physical state of components of the colloidal system. Next, we will be answering the second part of this question. Now, the second part is classification of colloids on the basis of nature of dispersed phase. Nature of dispersed phase. So, on the basis of dispersed phase, the colloids are classified as multi-molecular, so what is a multi-molecular colloid, a multi-molecular colloid is when atoms or molecules aggregate to form a particle size ranging in the colloidal range. When atoms or small molecules aggregate to 
एग्रीगेट टू फॉर्म पार्टिकल्स हैविंग साइज इन कोलोइडल रेंज एंड कोलोइडल रेंज इज वन नैनोमीटर टू थाउजेंड नैनोमीटर सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ कोलोइड ऑन दिस बेसिस इज मैक्रोमोलिकुलर कोलोइड मैक्रोमोलिकुलर वेन द साइज ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल वेन द साइज ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल इज in colloidal range when the size of molecule is in colloidal range so these are the colloids formed by polymers proteins which are having molecules of high molar masses now the third type of colloid is associated colloids these are the colloidal system colloidal systems formed by substance substances which behave as which behave as normal electrolytes normal electrolytes at lower concentration but aggregate but aggregate to form colloidal particles at higher concentration so these are the classification of colloids on the basis of 
nature of dispersed fields and next we will be answering the third part classification of colloids on the basis of nature of interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium the classification of colloids on the basis of nature of interaction so this is the third part nature of interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium So on this basis, there are two types of colloids. First one is lyophilic. The dispersed phase. particles are attracted towards the dispersion medium in these colloids or in this type of colloid and second type of colloid is lyophobic particles of dispersed phase dispersed phase are repelled by the dispersion medium so this will be the answer to the question